Hi, thank you for joining in. This is Julia of Wig Journey with Julia. Today I am wearing for the first time at work um, my strawberry, deep strawberry uh, blonde wig that I bought from Hair Cube. Um, I wore her one other time for a few hours and this is the first time, like I said, wearing her to work. In this overhead lighting, um, she's coming out a very deep red. Um, she matches my freckles. So I guess it's a good thing. Um, she is is very soft. She is long. I, I did a video before on her and um, I'll do a 360 so you can see how long she really is. And my left side. I have pulled her back and put her in a barrette and um, this morning just by walking around most of the most of the uh, hair seems to fall on my right side I guess just from just leaning over and writing stuff down uh, but um, by far my longest wig yet this is she's 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 longer than my Paula Young and um, I was thinking about cutting off an inch or two but I'm waiting to see how she wears whether the friction causes me to the point where I have to cut off some of her her uh, bottom layers. Um, I, I'm waiting. I got some an email from uh, the Vivica Fox collection. I'm waiting for another wig from her and now it's on back order. Originally they said they had enough in stock and then they contacted me and said no that I have to wait probably about a month to get this um, Vivica Fox. It's called Silver V. I'm getting her in the piano shade of P2216 which is the one that I, um, I have the same color um, in, it's called Autumn V. So I really like the Vicka Fox's uh, wigs also. This this wig uh, from Hair Cube, the cap construction, basic cap, no frills. She cost me a whopping $21, I think total. Uh, Amazon Prime, and it was free delivery. So, uh, yeah, uh, I love the cap. I love how it feels like second skin. I love the hair texture. Uh, like I said, I think before, I I'm just gonna buy another one just to have, um, just to fall back on. I I really like this wig. I really like how it feels. I like the fact that it's not too much hair. I think it's it has like a simulated part there. I haven't done anything to her. The only thing, oh, I, I have. I have cut her, her bangs where they came sweeping down to here. And it, this this part, it, she parts on the right, I guess the majority of it. So this side right here, it was so harsh and I didn't like how that looked. So I did um, take the scissors and go down a few times, a few tries, uh, less is more, until I got to the bangs where she's out of my way and out of my eyes and it's not coming down. Um, I did use some hairspray on her to make sure that she kept back. The ringlets just naturally fell after I pulled back the, the hair and put it in the barrette. Um, a few people have come in already. They have looked and, uh, you know, they're not saying anything. Like I said, this is the first time I've worn red. I did not wear her to church. Like I said, I was going to in one of my other videos. The next day, I wore one of the ones I've worn before. Um, but I think I'm getting more comfortable as the day goes on wearing her. And I think I'm ready to, you know, wear it around people that know that I'm not a redhead. I have dyed my bio hair red through the years. And I have found that it never stayed the color red that I've dyed it. It always washes or fades out. It just never stayed. Even though my complexion, I think, warrants a red-headed strawberry blonde I have millions of freckles um, basically this color of fair skin I have green eyes so there's there's you know I just I just love red hair so that's why I think um, the the Vivica Fox collection is more of a darker blonde the wig that I just ordered silver V and it has blonde in it but it's a darker darker blonde in my last three months of wearing wigs I've gone from the Golden Lights Paul Young collection. Then my next couple purchases were the Lydell wigs, which were red, and um, and then the, the the Vivica Foxes, which are more of a of a, a golden tone to it. 
and now this one I bought from Hair Cube, and this is obviously red. So I have gravitated towards the redder look. I don't know if that's this is the fun part. You're experimenting. You wear one color one day and one color the next, and and it's what I wake up in the morning and I get dressed and and I look at the the shelf that I have them on, and I just decide which one I'm going to wear, and you know it's liberating not having to I've said this before not having to worry about your hair your buyer hair your hair the hair fillers and the volumizers it's just liberating just to be able to put on whatever color or whatever style you want to wear that day and not have to worry about it uh, that's why I don't think I would ever buy a uh, real a human hair wig because I would not want to run the risk of it frizzing or I don't know. It just seems like there's a lot the upkeep. Now, I, I could be all wrong. I've never had one, so I don't know. I mean, they look beautiful. They look realistic. But I think I I found synthetics to, to... I like the synthetics for right now. So that could change. But anyway, I want to thank you for tuning in. If you like my videos, please hit the subscribe button and the like button. And um, I know to make more of them. Um, I know it makes me feel good talking to people out there about what I'm experiencing and I go on and I read all the YouTube people I go down I see what they're talking about and you know we, we all have similar stories my bio hair is growing um, I, I did have it shaved the back was shaved and I had the front a little bit longer in case I wanted to bring my bio hair out which is getting increasingly harder to do I did not do that with this one even though it's on the redder side, you know, darker blonde, redder side, because it is kinky. It is wiry. Uh, I tried uh, uh, straight, just using a curling iron, just to straight the front here so I could bring it out for one of the wigs I wore the other day. And it was raining outside. And by the time I got outside ready to leave from work, it was just nothing but frizz. So I've quickly realized that I don't think I'm going to be able to bring my bio hair out um, with the wigs that are straighter, uh, you know, because it's just not it's just not behaving, and I don't know if that's just the, the what I'm going through with besides having the hair thinning and having some spots that are really thin, but the hair that I have that's coming in is quirky is the best word I can come up with or or kinky or it reminds me of the zigzag stitch in the clothes that I used to wear when I was a kid now I'm showing you my age but the little zigzag gingerbread stitches that's what it reminds me of my hair is just like like that and it lost its luster I guess so um, but physically I'm fine and mentally now I'm fine also since I can just pop one of these girls on and call it a day and go out and you know and I own them I I I I am beyond are they looking at me and uh, well I shouldn't say that I wear her to church on Sunday then I owned it uh, you know I haven't done that so until I do that then I think I'm there I'm pretty much there now but I think once I do that once I go out of my safe space and wear her to functions that I know people will know definitely it's a wig without a doubt then that's it then I'm there and I'm real close. I'm real close. And I thank you out there for all your support and people that read, left comments. And, you know, it helps. It just helps knowing that other people are in the same predicament, the same boat. And, you know, there's alternatives. This is it. So anyway, I thank you for stopping by. Have a great day out there and God bless. Bye-bye.